So now let's have a look at the tibia. Here we can see we have anterior and posterior surfaces of the tibia. We can see we've got the medial malleolus here. And on the posterior surface, we can still see the medial malleolus forming the ankle joint. And we have a fibula surface. And this is the surface that you would see if you were standing where the fibula was. And we'll talk first of all about the tibial plateau, the proximal part of the tibia. The tibia is larger than the fibula and it's mostly involved with weight bearing. The articulations occur superiorly between the femoral condyles on the tibial plateau, which we can see here, and also inferiorly with the talus. And here I mentioned previously the medial malleolus. When the fibula is in place, we have two malleoli, medial and lateral, and they help to form the ankle joint. Approximately, we can see we have medial and lateral condyles of the tibia. Here we have our lateral condyle and here we have our medial condyle. We can see this anteriorly and we can also see these posteriorly. Here's the medial condyle, here's the lateral condyle. They are separated by the intercondylar eminence, this small little elevation of bone that sits on top of the tibial plateau, an otherwise flat surface. Lateral and medial intercondylar tubercles. So here we can see some lateral and medial intercondylar tubercles forming this intercondylar eminence. And as we'll see, these are important. The shaft of the tibia is triangular in cross-section. The anterior border, we find we have the tibial tuberosity, and then we have this rather sharp anterior edge. The lateral, medial, and posterior surfaces form this triangular shape in cross-section. So here we have the medial surface here running down towards the medial malleolus, and here we can see the lateral surface forming this sharp anterior border. If we have the fibular view, then we can see we have this lateral surface here, the anterior edge is here, the anterior border, and then we can see the posterior surface where we have the nutrient foramen for the nutrient artery to pass into the tibia. We can also see on this posterior surface we have the soleal line, and this is important as it's a site of origin for the soleus muscle. We can see running along the shaft we have the line for the interosseous border, and that is where the interosseous membrane connects the fibula to the tibia. Distally, we have a narrowing of the tibia before we have this medial expansion, which is the medial malleolus, and we have laterally the fibula notch, and that allows for articulation with the fibula. In the fibula view, we can see we have this depression here, this fibula notch that houses the Fibula. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.